Hi, this is Mike again. Welcome back to 5 Minutes of Fantasy Sports. So today I want to talk fantasy basketball playoffs. Um, I wanted to look first at a tool you can use on Stat Tracker, and then also uh, take a look at possible matchups coming up as well for your playoffs. So let's get that open here. Uh, let me click on the right thing. There we go. Uh, so Stat Tracker is a tool that I use um, on my PC quite often. You can get to it on your phone as well. You just have to uh, make sure you go to the full version of the website um, on whatever phone you're using. I use Google Chrome on my phone, but you can probably do it on Safari or whatever. So uh, the way you get there is you go up to the menu at the top. There's League, My Team, Matchup, Players, Research. And one of the options is Stat Tracker. When you click on that, it should open up a new window. And that new window, somewhere around here... Let me just find it here. That new window should look a lot like this. Uh, so what I use Stat Tracker for is to see the live standings. Uh, so right now I'm in third place, and it's looking like if my matchup stays the same way, and you can finalize this tomorrow night after the Sunday matchups are done. Uh, but if my matchup stays this way, I'm going to be in third place, which means I'm going to go against the guy who's going to be in sixth place uh, in my playoffs. And our playoffs reseed, um, so basically if the fifth, if the sixth place team upsets the third place team, um, the sixth place team still has to play the more difficult matchup with the first place team. So I would check your playoff standings and your categories. Sorry, not the categories, but check you know the different options and the settings, I think is the word I was looking for there, uh, just to see when your playoffs start first. Um, also check to see when they end, some leagues do you know, three rounds of playoffs, some leagues do four. Uh, sometimes, I don't know if they do this anymore, but they used to have the last round of the playoffs be two weeks. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm hoping, so I'm right now tied with the guy in second, but he's winning 7-2, I'm losing 4-5, so I'm gonna have to, hopefully tomorrow I can flip a couple categories maybe, uh, maybe turnovers, maybe threes. Uh, but I still it'll be tough to get up to seven to two like him. So even if I get to seven to two, I actually have to beat him. Uh, so anyway, what you want to do is you want to take a look at your opponent's team and just see kind of. I don't know, a lot of stuff open here. Where are we looking for? You want to see the other person. So the guy I'm playing against possibly is going to be this guy, um, Andrew. So you can go down to his team, take a look at his players. Uh, if you want to see kind of their stats, you can always go to stats for the season. You know, he's got quite a few good three-point shooters. Fred Van Fleet, Donovan Mitchell. All right, he's dealing with some injuries right now. Porzingis, Levert, uh, Dort. So he's switching guys out from IL and all that. Um, the other way to check, you know, his season stats, and this is a tool you can use just to kind of do a checkup on your team, is you go back to your main page where it says League. And then where it says standings, you switch it from current standings to head-to-head -to -head stats. And then what I like to do is it shows you the category wins here. I like to switch it from win-loss to total. And then after you switch it, you can kind of just go through the categories and see where you are. So the guy I'm playing has the worst field goal percentage in the league. So that's a category I'll probably win. Uh, we're relatively close in free throw percentage. We're relatively close in points. He's got a 1,000 more rebounds than me, so I'll probably... Lose that one. Looks like, or sorry, a thousand more points. Um, I don't know. I've been adding a lot of point players lately, so I might win that. Um, I definitely score more rebounds than him. He gets a lot more assists. He gets a lot more steals. Blocks is almost even, and it looks like I'll win um, turnovers as well. So I mean, this is if you draw it out over the whole season, it's just looking to see, um, you know, the averages. So if I'm trying to try to maybe make sure I win a category. I'm actually out of moves because I've used all my moves <laughs> for the whole season. Uh, but if you're not in that situation and you notice there's a couple close matchups, like over the whole season he has 364 blocks, or I have 364, he has 370. So what I would do to kind of give myself an advantage in this matchup this week is I would add a guy who maybe gets three, four, or five blocks a week, and that could make a big difference. And then uh, another one that was close was... You know, points is relatively close. Free throw percentage is close. It's hard to add a guy who has, you know, gets enough free throw percentages to make a difference, but they are out there. Uh, so anyway, just an idea. Um, because my playoffs do start on Monday, it's, I'm looking like I'm not going to get the buy, so I need to make sure my team is ready to go. So just taking a quick look at my team here. 
you know, R.J. Barrett had a good little showing. Um, Cameron Payne, I know I recommended him pretty strong, and he has yet to play. I still believe in him, um, but I've been feeling the pain, so to speak, of him not playing. Uh, so hopefully he comes back soon. I think he has a game tomorrow he's already ruled out for, but hopefully he's back next week. Um, I have Kevin Porter Jr., who put up a couple great games, 30 points, 27 points, rebounds, assists. Um, but then he's been dealing with some injuries lately as well, and it sounds like he had a little sprain of an ankle on, uh, was that Friday, Saturday? And hopefully he plays tomorrow. And we'll see, because I don't want to be down a game in the playoffs. Um, but anyway, that's where I'm at. That's what you can do to kind of look at your matchup and make sure you have a chance to maybe win that one category to push you into the next round of the playoffs. So keep that in mind. Hopefully that's helpful, and I'll see everybody later.